Here we have Dwight's first swim. So you'll notice that it looks like you're swimming uphill here. The legs are low. Arms coming straight through. Okay, here everything's a little bit more lined up, so things are more horizontal. Your head's coming down, legs going up. There's a lot less resistance here, so this is easier to get through the water. I want you to watch that you're also kicking down so that you drop your knees down into that drag zone. We want to think about lifting the legs and, and kick up and down instead of down first and then up because it's just driving it down too low. So we should be kicking right in behind our body line, only as deep as the body line. Above the water here, in your first video, we see a lot of plowing into the water. It's a lot of splash here. And your bicep is pushing water forward. And this is just causing a lot of resistance on forward momentum. And in the update. So we're getting a much cleaner entry here. So we want to look at the hand going in, followed by the elbow. And this is going to add to a lot less resistance and forward momentum. And you're starting to get some front end timing where that hand stays out once going in before you pull, which looks really good. Here are the arms going in, crossing across the midline, pulling through. So you're aiming for the front of your head here. We can see head, hips, knees, and heels going down. So we want everything to line up behind the head and shoulders and as deep as the chest. So your hands are starting to come out. We want the entry point in front of the shoulders. And you'll notice that we can see the there's chest all as one and the hips are just right in behind there but you can see that that kick is coming down into the drag zone. So this is a good change here.